Today we're living in mansions and we place ourselves on high thrones and the living ones we are killing and destroying. Yet those who walked in the streets, outwardly they had the appearance of a street beggar, but they raised the dead, my beloved. They had no gold, neither gold nor silver, but they raised the dead. Today we are living in gold and linen and silver and we are killing the living. The church cannot unite with no worldly government. The church cannot unite with no worldly government. The church cannot tolerate any worldly politics. The church is gold. It is a golden lampstand. Gold cannot be influenced by outside environment. The gold can only be influenced by another gold like itself. And the only gold is Christ Jesus. And he made his church like himself. Therefore, gold can only take, give and take from another source that is gold. The world is nothing but a pig's field. It is filth. When is the church going to wake up and be bold? When is the church going to realize that she has sold her Jesus for the filth of the pig's field? When will the church wake up? We need to go back and be Ephesus, not Laodicea. My goodness, true love, true humility are missing in the house of the Lord. True love and true humility are missing in the house of the Lord. But we have hope, we have faith and love. That is the greatest of all, that Jesus Christ is the true good shepherd who holds the stars, the church leaders in his right hand, in his power. And he walks in the midst of the golden lampstands. He is in the heart of his church. No one, no one. There is no power neither in heaven nor on earth nor beneath it. Satan and all his foul spirits. No one can touch the church of Christ unless Jesus gives the green light. So to all the church leaders from the highest rank, the Pope, to the least of all, if you do not come down from your high horses, the Lord has come to renew His church, refurbish it, and fix it once and for all. Repent before it's too late. Repent before it's too late. Let's be humble, but not, not humility in an acting way. Do not act. Be true to yourself and to your God. And love one another genuinely from the heart, not from the lips. My goodness, the church has been infiltrated with hypocrisy. We have become hypocrites. We call one another brothers. We're lying. We need to come back and call one another brothers from the heart, not from the lips. And church leaders, stop being rich with worldly material things. Be rich in Christ. For a church leader to have millions in his bank account, I just want to know what is it for? For your children? For your future? Why do you need the millions? Why do you need the gold? Why do you need all this wealth? Why?
the wealth has to be distributed amongst the needy ones in Christendom so that no one is seen to be in need for we can't be in need when Jesus Christ is our Lord our King our God but the greed of these so-called church leaders has made some people be in need and I'm not talking about the need of physical material things only but spiritually more so we need to come back to humility and love with all heartedly may the Lord have mercy on his church may the Lord have mercy on all of us may the Lord Jesus enlighten our hearts enlighten our souls enlighten our spirits may the Lord Jesus bestow his true love in every heart may the Lord Jesus humble every church leader may the Lord Jesus bring every head down so that his head is seen clearly and vividly before the entire church and the whole world May the Lord Jesus have mercy. Have mercy, Lord, on us all, for we have sinned before you and heaven. I am not worthy to be called your son, but make me as one of those servants in your house, my Lord. Jesus, my Lord, please, I beg you, have mercy on your church. The church has gone blind. My Lord has gone blind. Enemy has infiltrated the church, has blinded so many church leaders. But you are the one who holds everyone in his right hand. We trust you, Lord. We trust you that everything is good. Nothing is lost. It's all good, Lord. Nothing is lost. Nothing is lost. It's all good. I love you, Lord. You know that I love you, Lord. May the Lord Jesus bless you, guide you, and protect you all the days of your life, now and forevermore. Amen. The peace of Christ and the light of the world be with you always, encircle you inside and out, and protect you and preserve you now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace. The peace of Christ be with you always. Amen. God bless.